Hi, my name is Mike Bell. I'm a student and a personal trainer at Duke University, and I also have a bit of a martial arts background. And today I'm going to give you a workout that you can do by yourself with a punching bag, or potentially with a friend if you have punching mitts or tie pads. It's important to note that the objective of this video is not to teach you any self-defense maneuvers, just to give you a good, fun, full body workout. This workout will use four basic punches. The first of these punches is the jab. Jab with the same hand as your lead leg, usually your less dominant leg. Begin with your elbows in and fists at chin height. To throw the jab, simultaneously push off with your back leg and twist your body on your lead leg side, rotating your fist until your arm reaches full extension on contact. Make sure to keep your wrist straight and don't throw the jab so hard that you injure your elbow on the extension. After contact, immediately recoil your body and bring your hand back to your chin. The next punch is the cross. A cross is thrown with your trail leg or dominant hand. The cross is similar to the jab in mechanics, except that now you're both pushing off and twisting with the trail leg side of your body, therefore delivering much more power in the punch. Like with the jab, after contact you want to immediately recoil and bring your hands back to your chin. Our third punch in this routine is the hook. Throw the hook with your lead hand, the same one you use to throw the jab. Plant your rear foot and begin the motion by twisting slightly towards your lead leg side. Then unwind back into your stance as you bend your arm to a 90 degree angle and parallel to the floor. Pivot all the way back through on your lead leg foot and maintain the 90 degree arm position as you make contact, using your abs to generate power and stay balanced. Again, immediately after the punch, return your hands to your chin. Our fourth punch is going to be an uppercut. An uppercut is performed with the rear leg hand, the same one you use for cross. Keeping your arm tight to your body, lower your trail leg hand and turn your palm to the ceiling as you slightly twist your body to the punching hand side. Pivot back into your stance by driving off your back leg as you punch in an upward motion with power generated from the legs, hips, and abs. Return to the set position before throwing the next punch. Once you've mastered the four punches individually, it's time to start trying combinations. The first combination we're going to try is a jab cross. The jab cross is exactly what it sounds like. Jab with the lead leg hand, return to the set position with both hands at the chin, and then immediately use your motion from the recoil to launch a hard cross, making sure to generate the power from your core, not just your arms. Once you have the jab cross down, try adding a hook. The sequence is now jab with the lead hand, cross with the rear hand, hook with the lead hand. Remember to bring the hands back to the chin after each punch. Finally, you can try stringing all four punches together. Jab with the lead, cross with the rear, hook with the lead, uppercut with the rear. Again, be sure to come back to the set position in between each individual punch to ensure correct form and build good habits. An extra motion that you can add in to give your abs some explosive work is to simulate slipping a jab from an opponent and coming back with a hard hook. This allows you to really twist your torso and uncork on the bag, generating a lot of power. The beauty of working out on a punching bag is that you can make up just about any workout you want. Begin by learning to throw the punches individually, switching up sides after every maybe 10 to 20 reps or 20 to 30 seconds. Then, once you feel comfortable with your technique, learn to throw combinations. Start slowly and build proper muscle memory before launching into a worthless flurry. Finally, once you're comfortable with combinations, start freestyling on the bag and make up your own workouts to keep it fresh. And remember, if you're training for general fitness purposes, it's important to use both sides of your body evenly. That's it for now. If you find yourself interested in learning martial arts in a formal environment, check out the area around you for kickboxing, karate, or mixed martial arts center. Until next time, good luck and keep your hands up.